remember. Oh, no, you know what happened to um, Chi. Chi last night? Then you was in a, a vulnerable position that night with those two guys. They, they, although they were messing around with you, but they could have been muggers. I can't even and you was know in, no, what But you was in such a state that you wanted to know if you'd been mugged or knifed or whatever, had you? Yeah. And that's a concern to us as parents. Yeah. We, we love the times when you're having a great time. But a good time anyway, didn't we, boys? Yeah! yeah. What's the song? Who are Mavia? Who are Mavia? Oh, my days. I am pleased to see them. Um, obviously, it's you and my dad, but I'm not pleased to see them with my boys in Malia. Because it's just like, hold on, this is the reason why I came to Malia, to get away with, from them. It's 3am, and Bev is preparing to surprise Millie. I'm nervous now. What do you think she's going to say? I am a clown. In fact, I didn't even think about it until you said. I know, I've worried you. You've not? really worried me about that, because I didn't think that Millie would be cross. Well, you know better than I do. Well, I know, but... You've set me thinking now. I don't think she's going to turn around and say, get lost. No. And if she does, can you pick me off at floor? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Millie and the girls are determined to make their last night in Malia one to remember. I don't think my mum would like this trip at all. She'd say everyone was uncouth, which I guess they are. He's got to go with it. Mum's about to see for herself. She's on the strip and heading towards Millie. X Factor! Let me give you a fucking man joiner, oh. Sheree. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't look. I am. Then I can be there. So if it had been you that had been smashed in face, I'd have been able to come. But no, I've done it. I'm not going to do it again because actually you're fine. Please don't do this on another holiday. But actually, seeing what you've done and how you've coped, I'm, I'm really proud of you. I don't have to bother, do I? Oh. The next day, and Clive and Angela are catching up with Joe before they fly home. I was absolutely shocked to see him when I took the blindfold off. I just thought, oh no. I didn't honestly didn't know what to do. I never saw it come in. I've been a fly on a wall, and I don't know if I'd want to be a fly on a wall again, <laughs> but we've had an insight into your sort of holiday, what you enjoy, how you get on with your friends. We're proud to have such a nice child that we brought up. And, and your credit to our family. Uh, I'm so proud of you this week. Once it came over, I'll probably cry, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After a week of watching Millie from afar, Bev's finally getting some mother-daughter time. Being able to see you this week from a distance, I've seen you completely differently. The difference is, at home in our, in our house, I saw you as my child. But seeing you here, I saw you as an adult. Yeah. Well, I think this experience has been brilliant timing because I am on the cusp of everything that's going to start happening, like moving into my new house, and you won't know where I am all the time. And actually, I'd be fine, but you wouldn't. I think this is... You've got more out of this experience than I have. 
You were always mine. When you were born, you were, you were always mine. And you have been the only thing that's been constant in my life. When you were born, my mum said, that Bev will never be on her own again. And you won't. No, I won't. And that's why it's been so hard to let you go. Give me a hug. I told you she was hard, didn't I? Don't get my scar on my top, though. <laughs> I love you, do you know that? Yeah, I love you too. Next time, it's high thrills, dancing, snogging, <laughs> you need to put those boobs away. and getting busted with your pants down on Party Island Ibiza. Our dangerous pleasure season continues tomorrow at 9.